Hello there. Today we're going to make a really neat background. Alrighty. So what you're going to need is, I just laid a piece of recycled acetate down on my table here and measured off four inch squares. So you need four by four because that'll fit on the card front. So that's why I've done a, a graph of four by four one inch squares. Alrighty, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take real thin pieces of black, and this is actually quilling paper. Um, it could actually be, I wish I had it a little bit thinner, that would be nice, but that's okay. I'll deal with this. <laughs> Since I've got it, I'm gonna use it. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do is, maybe I'll use, I think this might be the easiest way to connect it. Yeah, I think I should. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I've got some masking tape that's folded over. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of masking tape in each corner just to hold it down for me while I'm working on it. All right, because we're actually gonna glue it together as we're, as we're going along here. All righty, so we're gonna start off with the first piece and we're gonna line it up on here and bring it on over here to this section. Then we're gonna cut it off. And it's, it's better to have a little bit too long than not long enough. So, all right, and then I'm gonna put a little dollop of glue because we wanna glue these four corners together first. So I'm gonna take that and put this edge here and then bring this over here. Alrighty, then I'm gonna put glue in this corner and then go ahead and press this down. Bring this over here to this corner. Snip this corner off. And then again, we're gonna go ahead and put some glue on both corners this time. Alrighty, and then we're gonna start on this corner Line it up over here. There. Perfect. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to follow the grids and go ahead and put them going across and going down. So I'm going to go ahead and do one, two, three. One, two, three. All righty. Because we need one going this way. I guess I should have put it on the opposite side too. <laughs> uh, yeah, may as well. There. Okay, so from this edge over to this edge, I press that down so it can glue. We can trim the little bits off afterwards. And we need one, and I'm gonna to try to make mine cross over, so I'm gonna do one going this way this time. Guess I should have put a dab of glue in there, but that's okay, I'll do it here. Put a dab of glue here. Is that long enough? Ooh, just barely. That's okay, I'm not gonna use that unless I have to. I'd rather have too much than not enough, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. Go across here. Alrighty. Then we're going to go across two of them. From this edge over to this edge. And it doesn't matter what order you do them in. You just have to make sure you're going crisscross, but I want mine kind of woven. Thinking that might make it sturdier. We'll, we'll see. Okay, and then we need one going across this way. That was so cute this morning. I was watching church services via Zoom, and a uh, little boy got up to say the closing prayer for the meeting 
And his mommy went up with him and was helping him say the prayer. <laughs> and when he got all done, he said, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Yes, I did it. <laughs> it was so adorable. He was so proud of himself because he actually did it. <laughs> I love seeing the little ones get up there and do, do their thing. All right, now let's turn this over and give that a little bit of a rub. All righty, that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I want it to finish drying. But while I'm doing, while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim these extra little bits off. We probably won't see that too much of them, but I'd rather make sure. Oh gosh, that's funny. That just brought back memory of when my twin brothers were five and my my one brother, Joshua, he was so, <clears throat> so sensitive. And anytime he would give a prayer, he would cry. Anytime he would share how he was feeling and share his testimony, he would, he would cry. If he had to read a scripture, he would cry. It was so, it was so sweet, but but of course we thought it was funny because I was 10 when, <laughs> actually I was 10 when he was born. So I was 15 when he was five. So of course I thought that was, that was really cute when he would get up there, but he would get up there. And if they would say, could, would you like to say the prayer? And he'd say, sure. He liked being in charge. And so he would get up there and he would make that prayer so long <laughs> because he was allowed to say whatever he wanted to say. <laughs> He'd go through saying all kinds, thank you for our dog, and thank you for the good dinner we had this night, and 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 I'm sorry I didn't like this dinner, but it was kind of yucky, and I, he wishes he could have had this, and <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, that boy was just hysterical. All right, so while this is, I think I'm just going to leave it on the acetate now until I'm totally done, and then I'll take it off, but it's all trimmed up. So now what I have to do now is I've got these flowers punched out already and I'm going to put them in order. I've got them in in the order that I want them already. So I'm going to put them in each corner. So we're going to have one over there and one over here. And then we're going to have two one and two and then three And then four. And imagine making a few of these up beforehand and having them all ready. I saw a picture of this, I don't know, probably on Pinterest. Um, and I've had it on my phone. And I thought, and it was very similar. And I don't know what they used. I don't know if it was silk flowers or regular just paper flowers or whatever but I just saw the the lattice work in the background and I thought oh that is so cool I could do that with my with my quilling papers and we've all got flowers of some kind but I thought a four by four would be and they made it real big of course I think it was a as a matter of fact now that I'm picturing it, I think it was a, a craft for kids to do. So it was probably, because it was a big sheet. But anyways, every time I look at any type of crafts, and I, I look at it and I think, ooh, how can I make that into a card thing? How can I make that into a border? How can I make that into a, to fit a card? Or how can I make that to fit a, a trading card? 
Oh, this is looking so pretty with the rainbow type colors. Not traditional, but isn't that pretty? I like that. All right. So, and that's four by four. So that should fit just perfect on a card front. I didn't even test it, but it should. Oh yeah, right on the edge. <laughs> All righty. So we're going to, we, you know what? This is, is that exactly? Yep, that's four and a quarter. Okay. So I guess I should have gone in a little bit, but that's okay. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut it in half and do it that way. That would be cool. Why not? Huh. All right, I'm just going to keep going. So I guess we'll have to do it maybe three by three. Three by three would fit on that, on this. Yeah, because then that would just knock that out. Okay, so that's good to know. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. Three by three, and I could actually cut this one down. Three by three. Okay. That's a good idea. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and do that because if I cut that off, then I'll have a border for the inside and another little piece. That's a good idea. All right, so let me decorate this. Let's see, we need some bling. And I'm thinking, what kind of bling? I'm thinking black. Just black in the middle would be pretty, or pearls, or all silver. I've got some silver here. I could cut these apart and use it on there. That's a good idea. Let's do that. This was supposed to be a, it was an alphabet letter. Somebody a couple years back sent me a whole handful of alphabet letters and wanted to know if I could figure, if I wanted to see if I could figure out something to do with those. And I said, sure. And I've been cutting them apart and using them like this. That works awesome. Okay, so let's see. I can go ahead and take the back off of this. You gonna come off? Or are you gonna give me a hard time? Nope, you're coming off. Good job, good job, okay. Perfect, yes. All righty. Now we can snip these off. Whoop, get off of there. And put one in the middle of each one. That is so pretty. With that silver wrapped around it, that is just gorgeous. See if you're on my finger, you gotta go on the scissors. There. I'm pretty sure the little the little boy that said the prayer today was the same one that came Christmas caroling too when the little kids came around <laughs> at Christmas time. And I'm pretty sure he was the one that was standing there holding the the little candy canes. He had the little mini candy canes and he had one in each hand and he had squished the heck out of them. They were all broken up. <laughs> he was so excited. Can I give them to her yet? Can I give them to her yet? He, he was waiting. He didn't care about singing. He just wanted to get the singing done so that he could hand out those, those candy canes. It was so adorable. <laughs> so by the time I got them, they were all broken, broken up in little bits and pieces and stuck down on the bottom of the, the package. That was so funny. I just, I love kids. They're just so funny. <clears throat> Especially when they're not yours. When they're somebody else's kids. They're even more hilarious. <laughs> yep. All 
Alrighty daddy. Oops, I need to trim up the other side. This is pretty, 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 pretty. All right, so if you want this to actually fit on your card front, an A2 card, then you wanna cut it down to three by three. If you want it to fit an A4 card, then you want it four by four. Yep, but that's okay, we got this. And that's what happens when you do like I do and just have the idea sitting there and just go for it. I get so excited. Ooh, and tonight is our, our granddaughter's, um, yeah, activities director for school, the sports activity director. They're doing a spaghetti dinner, so we all bought tickets to go over to the school. That's kind of nice to do it on a Sunday afternoon so a lot more people can go. I hope they sold a lot of tickets. I'll find out. They usually announce how many they sold when, they, when we get there, so that'll be nice. you up with you come on <laughs> all right let me do these first get these off of my finger there and here and Come on, there, and I need three more. Okay, we've got three more. One, two, three, that will do. That's awesome, I was able to use most of these up. These have been around for a while, and I think this is my last one, too, which is real nice. I went through all those alphabets. It's taken me about two years, but I did it. Come on. There. Whoops, nope. Let go. That's fun. Good, good, good. All right, so let me get these and put these back in the container so they don't go flying off my desk when the cat jumps up here. If he does. <laughs> All right, now we can take this off because it should be dry by now. And I still got that masking tape on the corners. That's nice because it's helping to hold it all together. Perfect. Nice. Alrighty then. Okay. Let me go in the garbage. And you get on up here. And I've got to trim off one whole edge. As long as I get in behind the flower, I'm good because I just don't want the black to show. Ooh, 
that's down real good, huh? Oh, I don't want to cut the petal off. There it goes. All right, there, there's one whole line. Ooh, there you go. Three by four, that works. That's pretty, I like that. Nice, and now you know what? I think I'm gonna put that right in the middle. That is pretty. Oh, why am I pressing that down? I need to glue it. <laughs> All right, let's, I guess I can leave that masking tape on there and we can put glue on in the center of each of these. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. So I, you can do it three by three or three by four. I like the three by four. That's pretty. I wasn't expecting that, but that's even better. All righty. So three by three, three by four, or four by four. That's nice. I like that. All righty. And then this can go on the inside. That's kind of cool looking. Huh. I think I want to take those brackets off though. Yep, let's take those off. We don't need those on. Very nice. And that's already got two pieces of tape on there. So we just need three dollops of glue right in the middle of these three flowers. And we can put this on the inside. That is pretty. I like that. What do you think of that? Isn't that neat? Uh-huh. I like it, like it, like it. Okay, let's get these bits and pieces in the garbage. I can wipe that off in a bit. I like that. That's really pretty. And you don't really have to do much with this. I don't think, I think if anything, maybe just some words or just leave it. Or maybe you could like put a bird sitting on it or something. That might be kind of cute. Or add a couple little leaves. That might be nice. Oh, the things we can do. I'm thinking maybe a little bird. That would be adorable. Where are my birds? I've got one of these little tiny birds. I could do one of those. That would be cute. Let's cut him out. Yep, I could color him and put him on there. He would be a, an adorable little size to go on there. Okay, so what colors do we have? We have blue and red and green. And let's see. <clears throat> Actually, I think I'm just going to color it with my crayons. There's red. Purple. That's the lavender. And then that light blue. I think that'll be that one. Okay, that'll be good. Let's do it. They're so cute. Look at them. Give him little rougie cheeks. <laughs> Make his legs match. Do the underneath purple. That'll be pretty. It's fun. <laughs> I like that. Yes, I do. Alrighty. Then we can fussy cut this out.
guess I need to get a, t a short sleeve shirt on. I'm getting rather warm here with my sweatshirt on. Though I am sitting directly underneath the heater too, so. Alrighty. And then we can put this in here. Or down here. Or up here. Oh, that's adorable. Aw, oh, I'll make them standing on there. <laughs> right in the middle. About here. That's funny. All right, and then I need some little words. Let's see. How about be authentic? Is that one cut off? Miracles, hope, love you, seedless, seeds of kindness. What else is cut off? Tell your secrets. Journey, give, and embrace. Think fast, live. Think fast, live slow. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. Or go where your heart takes you. I like that one even better. Okay. Go where your heart takes you. Have a sticker on the back too. Yes, it is. These are the ones that I made, and they ended up being a boo boo because I put the double stick um, paper right on the front, right on top of the words. And I went, oh, I didn't want it on top of the words. I wanted it on the back so it could be sticky. It could be a sheet of stickers. But then I thought, wait a minute. Put a piece of acetate over that. Then it looks nice and shiny. So that came out pretty good. And then I had to put another sheet of the double stick tape on the back. But that's okay. That worked. All right. Let's put a little 3D on the back of this guy. Oh, purple scissors. Go where your heart takes you. And then I've just got to make a decision on where I want them. Where do I want this fella to go? Maybe up here? Right down here? Oh, you know what? Here. Yeah. I could make it so he's standing on that. There. That'll work. Go where your heart takes you. That's cute. I like that. Alrighty. And we've got that pretty, pretty strip on the inside too. So I'm glad we, I made that little boo-boo and made it too wide because that's perfect. That gives me the extra piece for the inside. I'm loving that. See, things happen for a reason. So what do you think of this for a card idea? I like that. Some black lattice work. So I hope you'll like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.